Guys, welcome to another Python tutorial. That is the QPython for Android tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the console, the editor, and also the programs in the community on QPython. Now, the first thing you need to know is that the console is a place in Python where your code is run. It simply, it simply means a place that your code is run. Immediately, you click enter or you create a program, you want to run your code. This is the environment the code is run. So that put aside, let's go straight to the editor. Now the editor is simply a place where you write code or lines of code or instructions you can give to your Android device or your computer. Now notice here that I have written some lines of code and when I run my code, you notice the background, it takes me to the QPython console where I told you your code is usually run. Now those are what the console and the editor does. They run your code and as for the editor, choose to write code. Now as for the programs, it's a place where built-in programs are stored. That is built-in code that has been written. For example, if you come over to this one that has been written before and you open it up, you see the lines of code that have been written here before. You can actually run this stuff and test it if it works. You can go back. Now I'm going to be checking on the default community. Now, the community is a place where you can go meet users and also interact with them. I'm not going to click it now. I'm not just going to visit because I don't have um, internet connection on my device. So you can check that by yourself later on. But note that, like I said before, the console helps you run your code, the editor helps you write code, and the programs is a place where your built-in code or your created softwares are being stored so you can run them via the console. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I hope to see your subscriptions, likes, and please comment 